ESL and motorsport. Plus, we'll have the Melbourne Cup barrier draw and high drama at Flemington as Black Friars survives a protest to win the Victoria Derby. Shogun Lodge second, Dyer Drive third, Freemason fourth. Sports tonight, the first day is always a great day. Derby Day kicks off the Spring Carnival. Springtime, it's when Melbourne blossoms and Flemington booms. When Australia dresses up and down, heads to the track and says, let's party. And when these amazing thoroughbreds stare down the turf and declare, let's race. From bar to the bookies, fashion to the fillies. Celebrating the Melbourne Cup Carnival, Sports Tonight. It's one thing to win the Victoria Derby once, but this afternoon, Black Friars effectively had to do it twice before claiming one of Australia's most prestigious races. The Peter Hayes trained three-year-old ran down a class field to have everyone talking of potential greatness. Then he survived an even tougher challenge, a protest from Shane Dye and Shogun Lodge. All that is only day one of the carnival. Shogun Lodge was the Derby favourite, but Black Friars spoilt the party. Black Friars in front, Shogun Lodge a length away, pegging him back. Black Friars are half in front, he's got the Derby one, Shogun Lodge can't get him. Black Friars and Greg Childs are half a length. But just as jockey Greg Childs and trainer Peter Hayes prepared to celebrate, Shogun Lodge's jockey Shane Dye lodged a protest of interference. You see him get right across in front of me, I've got to come to the outside, I've got no one other alternative. And when... Two weeks behind to a length and a half in front of him, too. And then Shane's got out around our heels and just stayed on well in the last bit. No way, sir. Bookmakers and punters sweated on the outcome. After viewing various angles of the race, the stewards dismissed the protest. And it did not affect the result of the race and the placings therefore stand. Black Friars first and Shogun's Lodge second. Thank you. The result allowing a derby tradition to continue for the Hayes family. It's been a race that, uh, you know, it would have been very high on my list of sort of races I'd like to win, particularly with a horse for Robert that we bred at home, bred him at home, broke him in, developed him through, you know, it's just a dream. Yes, this on top of the Cox Plate, a phenomenal week, great carnival, let, the, let it continue. Although disappointed, Shogun Lodge's connections were gracious in defeat. This would have been a nice race if BRC Derby off, um, off, the, off the winner. Despite the Derby drama, nothing could take away the sweet taste of success. And Bart Cummings has done it again. His horse Rogan Josh has stormed into Melbourne Cup contention with a win in the McKinnon Stakes. Cup favourite Ty the Knot finishing near the tail. With the protest drama in the Derby, it was easy to forget there were still another two Group 1 races to be run. One of them, the Louis Vuitton McKinnon Stakes, a vital lead-up race for Tuesday's Melbourne Cup. Shane Dye, hoping to make up for his disappointment in the Derby, was aboard the favourite Tie the Knot. The big Sydney stayer settling as usual, well back in the pack with a cracking pace set up front. But surprisingly, he never fired a shot in the straight. Rogan Joss, trained by Cups King Bart Cummings, rocketing into calculations for the big one, with a superb finishing burst. This is a strong run, Rogan Joss coming away. Rogan Joss wins it nearly a length. Shows you will settle and uh, still get to the line, which is the most important thing. And, uh... Yeah, it was a good trial. As Rogan Josh returned to scale, cup markets were thrown into chaos. 250 to 1 had been bet about the horse early in the season. It may now start as short as 5 to 1. Tie the Knot is a certain drifter. His trainer, Guy Walter, at a loss to explain the run. What we'll do is accept with him and just monitor his condition. 
the next 24 hours and see how he pulls up tomorrow morning. That's a crucial thing. Do you think he should run on Tuesday, Shane? Uh, that's, we're discussing that with the owners. And now to the important stuff, the money. You could have won or did win if you backed one of these horses. In the Victoria Derby, Blackfriars paid 4.10 the win, Shogun Lodge 170 the place and Dyer Tribe returned 2.20 for the win. Rebel also a tidy 15.90 for the place. Rogan Josh coming away. Rogan Josh wins it nearly a length. Second Rebel, then Oliver Twist, Aeros with referral. Will tie the knots runners, really open up a can of worms. That was it might not be the race that stops a nation, but the 1999 McKinnon Stakes could well go down as the race that stopped tie the knot. Gee, that was a bad run from him. At tonight's barrier draw, the deposed Melbourne Cup favourite drew wide in gate 15, but the drama surrounded if in fact he would start at all. He went shocking. Uh, he hung very badly and he just didn't take part in the race and that was a bad run. But while tie the knot's odds drifted to 7-1, to one, the new Cup favourite drew perfectly. Barrier one. Sky Heights, barrier one. Bookmakers reeling in the Caulfield Cup winner to seven to two, while English stayer travel mate and Rogan Josh were the other big movers. The draw is tie the knot in 15, Central Park 19, Sky Heights 1 and Arena in 16. Rogan Josh is wide in 21, Labille on his outside in 22. Cummings other hopefuls Rebor and Zazabel claiming three and 13. But David Oliver, Lee Friedman's third jump, the Remus win by three lengths. Safely in front for Darren Friedman. Mark Cummings has got his 10th Melbourne Cup. Safely's going to win the Melbourne Cup for Darren Friedman and Mark Cummings. Safely first. Martin Carr and Doremus stay in it. All it's close to Remus Rose. Doremus Rose on the outside. Kenny have done it a second from the rails and won the cup. My family at home on the rivers and my beautiful wife and children at home watching. I love you all. And we got it. Guys and Greg Charles.